Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Spider-Man Unlimited. I made a video recently, like maybe last night, saying this thing is so rigged when I first started. Because obviously they beefed up the enemy's health. Clearly, if you watch the other video and if you played the game before, the enemy's health is not that much. Anyways, luckily I was able to beat 25 of them, which is good because... You know, there was actually another event, and I was quite disappointing finding out that there was another event. But here we are, Ultimate Black Widow. What? Oh, okay, so we got the Ultimate Black Widow, Jessica Drew. And somehow it says this is a four-star card. So I'm not really sure what's happening. I, I thought we got we were going for Spider-Woman. Maybe, maybe I should run again. But I wasted over 100 ISO 8. I mean, literally... It was really disappointing because every time you die, you have to press 1 and 2 and sometimes 4. Here we are, Ultimate Black Widow. Which is kind of weird because I thought we were, I thought it was like Spider-Woman. Ooh, the Ultimate Spider-Woman. Ah, oh boy. We're going to have to make this run later on in a minute or two because I don't want to miss it. Uh, that one is going to show... And in eight hours. All right, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of running today. That's gonna be really tiring. Going back into my team, we're gonna be looking at the ultimate Black Widow. As you can see, there she is, beautiful looking card. I mean, ultimate Black Widow, Jessica Drew, legendary stat, two, four, six, seven stars. She does give 30% more veils. Plus one to combos from attack if you are you have them at, at her at level 5 stars. you notice that here is the first appearance. All new ultimates number 2. Female clone of Peter Parker created by Dr. Otto Octavius. Alright, so here she is. Little description here if you want to scroll along slowly. But I'm not gonna, I'm going to look at it later of course. But I don't feel like looking at it now. Actually really tired from trying to get this character. It's, it was absolutely insane. But today we're going to go into run. Alright, let's go into run here. Alright, let's go into run here. Since we're, I need to do that stage anyway. So <laughs> that's a bonus. Alright, let's do that again. Punch these guys back into their portal. Now it's my time to shine. Ready to rock. I'll show these psychos what happens when they threaten New York City. I'm on it. Ready to rock. Let me help. Here we go. Ready to rock. Let's punch these guys back into their portal. Now it's my time to shine. Time to rearrange some villain's faces. I'll show these psychos what happens when they threaten New York City. You know, they actually use the same sound. That ready to rock, I I heard it so many times. That's why I was flipping between them like, hey, are they using the same sound? But there she is. That's what she looks like. She looks like she has some sort of coat on and black gloves. And it kind of looks like Black Cat in a different suit. Let's start it and then we'll take a look at this character. Alright, so she has this spider on the back. You notice the... The legs are pretty long, it's just that it's scrunched together. And I think that's uh, Gwen, Spider-Woman, as well as his ultimate Black Widow. Am I, crashing this I think they're using the same sound effects. That's my opinion, though. I'm, uh, you know, I can't really check the files, or I don't even know who's voicing over it. But it sounds the same. There's not much difference there. Alright, if you know, if you watch my playthrough, you'll know that I like doing the near miss stuff. Unfortunately, this character doesn't double the near miss, so I don't, I don't know if I should keep on doing that. Because I might die. You notice the heels, everything is black. I mean, you can hardly make out the character, to be honest. Oh, alright, so there's some lining on her pants that is red. So it's not all black, it's not completely black. You notice that there's some lining there. It goes from top to bottom. Now let's see what else do we see. Of course the spider. You notice her gloves are black. Perfect aim. <laughs> oh. 
in my you know in my opinion this character is really dark and gloomy I don't know why I mean looking at this character obviously and clearly you can hardly make out anything you can hardly see anything you can it's like even the red is really really darn or it's kind of dark so everything you can hardly make out the spider and her hair too you'll notice the blonde it's kind of strange it's a dark blonde hair All right, just trying to make our way through Sandman. As you can see, Sandman was so easily beaten. The one we fought was, like, so difficult. All right, let's continue our run. Hopefully we make it. Alright, we're going down. One of the things I've noticed is the hair. It looks like that's actually Spider-Man's mask. It's just that they, they replaced the mask with a hairstyle mask. I mean, it, the hair isn't going anywhere. It's not flickering. It's not flying. I mean, come on. Well, what type of hair sticks to the, the person? Isn't it supposed to, like, sh scatter and stuff like that? So that's kind of strange. It looks like they just replaced the... You know how they replace skins, right? And on characters, essentially they do the same thing. Except they just change the style of the skin. It looks like they just changed the style of the mask to a hairstyle. And that that's not real hair. I mean, obviously and clearly it's not real hair. Because real hair don't do that. Actually, you know, it, it's supposed to fly around. Is your boss in? All right, let's see how far we can go. Oh, we almost failed there. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't even know what happened. I didn't move. To be honest, I did not move. I mean, something happened there, and it wasn't me. Alright, just trying to stay alive here. It's not easy, actually. I can't see her web shooters. I can't see... I can't even see her spider. The thing is, I don't I can't be looking at it for too long. Because if I look at it for too long, I'm gonna die. But from what I see right now... It looks like the bunch of legs are crunched together. And the leg doesn't go through to her front. That's what I think. I could be wrong. I mean, I can hardly make it out right now. Because we're busy fighting. Alright, you'll also notice that... Whoa, we missed that one. All right, you'll also notice that in my last video, I was saying that it's rigged, right? Look at how easy this boss is. Obviously, there's something wrong if you have to fight the boss for, like, I don't know how long in a runner's game. All right, there she is. I like her side view, actually. When she was punching, you actually got her side view. Really nice-looking side view. Hopefully, we get up to a million. I want a million. Let's get a million. Alright, I need to quit doing those near miss things. Because clearly that's gonna kill me. I'm gonna smack into something if I keep on doing that. But is it, it's just what I'm used to doing, the near miss. Alright, this might be a longer video than expected, actually. I was expecting a 5-6 minute review. But since we're running through it, we're trying to get the other Jessica Drew, the ultimate Spider-Woman. Since we're trying to get that one, 
I can't fail right now. <laughs> if I fail, it, that's terrible. Usually I just die on purpose. It's like, let's smack into a wall. But now I'm like, oh boy, we better stay alive. If I want Jessica, whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh my god. That was cheap. That was very cheap. Anyways, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Alright, so that's what she looks like. The hair doesn't fly. It looks like it's just a mask with a changed hair. There's her face. The whole thing is a mask. Her face is a mask. It's not even real. <laughs> Alright. That is the ultimate Black Widow. Alright, so that is the ultimate Black Widow. A little review of that. And it looks like we need to get more combos. But anyways, that is about it for this video. We will try to get the ultimate Spider-Woman.